Om Shri Sai Ram. The reader offers her most humble salutations at the divine lotus feet of Bhagwan Shri Satya Sai Baba, Lord Ganesha, and Mother Saraswati. With the divine blessings of Sai Ma, the reader starts the seva of creating an audio version of the book A Divine Life, authored by Anu Chopra in English. Beloved Bhagwan, a humble offering at thy divine lotus feet. This ocean extends to infinity. My eyes can see only this much. His love saturates all existence. My heart can hold only this much. His ways are a divine mystery. My words can unfold only this much. Author's note: A sacred tale yet untold of his unfathomable divine mystery and his eternal divine glory. An extraordinary story of a divine life blessed with faith, compassion, surrender and proximity to our beloved Lord. An unknown dimension amongst many others to the Shri Shirdi Sai Avatar and the Shri Satya Sai Avatar. Ma's story belongs to the realm that lies beyond the frontiers of human comprehension. So be it. What is within reach is the ananda, the pure joy that is granted to us when we take delight in his divine leela. Let us revel in his grace. I met Ma 11 years ago. Since then, I have been at times a witness to and at other times a part of the divine leela that has been taking place in her home sai nilayam having experienced the most amazing divine play for years i wonder why i did not feel inspired to record these events earlier bhagwan has his ways there is a designated time for everything i was in sai nilayam and was partaking of the holy water with which ma had washed his divine lotus feet when bhagwan shri satya sai baba had blessed her with darshan on guru purnima day 3rd july 2012 perhaps for me the sense of the enormity of it all had somewhat diminished over a period of time that day Though I felt a keen desire to chronicle what has taken place in Sai Nilayam during Bhagwan's lifetime and continues to even now after he has given up his physical form I wrote a letter to Bhagwan asking for his permission and blessings to write a book on Ma's divine experiences the very next morning when he gave darshan to her He gave his permission and blessed the letter with vibhuti. Ma and I arranged to meet in the evenings so that she could narrate her experiences to me. On 1st September 2012, we had our first sitting in the mandir. She did not prepare for these sessions but spoke as he prompted her to. I recorded what was said so that there would be no inaccuracy. even in the smallest details when writing i would repeatedly go back to these recordings to verify the facts when ma spoke she relived her experiences including her darshan of swami of shirdi baba and of all the forms of god i lived those moments with her her voice soft eyes far away and face transfigured she spoke and i experienced it brought about a shift in my consciousness of god i pray that this experience holds the same benediction for you my dear reader om shri sai ram chapter 1 ma lives in lucknow the capital city of the state of uttar pradesh india the stage for his divine leela is her home sai nilayam Her name is Mrs Neelam Dharan. 
and she is lovingly called Ma. She was born on the 17th of February 1951 in Talegaon, Maharashtra. When she was 17, she was married to Mr. V. Y. Dharan, known to all as Uncle. They have two daughters, Hema and Indra. Both are married. At the time we begin our story, Ma was teaching in a neighborhood school. Let us begin the sacred journey with the permission and blessings of our beloved Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. It was the year 1975 when Sri Shirdi Sai Baba chose to step into Ma's home. Her mother had gone on a pilgrimage to Shirdi and had brought a beautiful idol of Shirdi Baba and the holy book Sai Sach Charitra the life story of Shirdi Baba as prasadam for her being of a naturally devout nature and keeping faith in all his forms ma lovingly placed the idol on the altar in her room the following year when she was 25 years old she began daily parayanam of the sai sach charitra during this time ma frequently visited a lord shiva temple which was at some distance from her house one day she made a vow to perform abhishekam at the shivlinga in that temple for 40 days with a prayer for the fulfillment of a wish she woke up very early and bathed then carrying a small urn of water and some incense sticks with her she walked to the temple with his grace ma fulfilled the vow and lord shiva granted her wish feeling heartened ma made another vow to offer milk at the shivlinga for 40 days after fulfilling that she walked barefoot to this temple to perform abhishekam for yet another 40 days under no condition would she absent herself from this every day she went at the same time in the morning irrespective of weather health or circumstance when she was traveling out of town she made sure that she located a shiva temple in the vicinity if ma made a vow with his grace no power in this world could stop her from fulfilling it this is true even today once during this period her parents who lived in new delhi came to visit her in lucknow her father was an early riser he noticed that ma would wake up before sunrise bathe and go out every morning the entire household would be asleep at that time he shared his concern with his wife One day as she left the house they followed her Ma realized that her parents were behind her but she did not turn to look when they saw her walk into the temple they quietly turned and walked back reaching home they prepared tea and sat waiting for her as she entered her father asked casually where had you gone Ma said softly, "You tell me." With tears in their eyes, they apologized to her. In the year 1992, Ma went to a Sai Baba temple in the neighborhood for the first time. She would attend the Sai bhajans that were held there on every Thursday. Festivals like Maha Shivratri, Guru Purnima, and the birthdays of both. Shri Shirdi Sai Baba and Shri Satya Sai Baba were celebrated in this temple every year. There were beautiful images of both the forms of the Lord in the shrine. By now, her parayanam of the Sai Sat Charitra had intensified. Ma would often read from the Bhagavata Purana as well as the Ramayana. Her prayers to God were to seek his blessings for her daughter's marriages with his grace 
They performed their elder daughter Hema's marriage in September 1993. Hema's husband lived in Dubai. When it was time for the newly married couple to fly to Dubai, Ma went to New Delhi to meet them. She stayed at her parents' house. Every morning before daybreak, Ma walked to the Shirdi Baba temple a few kilometers away for her parayana. On this particular morning, she went to the airport to see them off. There, in an emotional moment, Ma gave Hema almost all the cash that she was carrying at that time. After bidding farewell, she went to the same temple to express her gratitude to Shirdi Baba. Within the limited amount she had, she bought a robe and a garland of fresh flowers for Baba and handed them over to the priest at the temple. Ma began to walk back home with prasadam in her hand. Being physically and emotionally drained, she felt dizzy. Just then, an auto rickshaw drew up by her side. Please sit, the driver said softly. Ma knew that the auto ride would cost her at least 20 rupees. She did not have the money with her, so she told him to go. He requested her again. She was feeling unwell, so she gave in to his plea. When they reached home, she gave him the prasadam and asked him to wait while she went in to get the money. The auto driver said that the prasadam would suffice and that he did not want the money. As he said this, Ma raised her head to look at him. Shirdi Baba! Frozen, she stood there gaping at him. Even as she was trying to compose herself, the auto drove away. Ma stood there for a very long time, looking in the direction in which he had gone. This was the first time that Shirdi Baba had blessed her with Darshan. Ma was overwhelmed and could not hold back her tears. She did not speak about it to anyone. Om Sairam.